Trouble hearing your TV over that pesky air conditioner? Is it so noisy that you're making poor life decisions? Don't you wish there was another way? Well, Project Trek has the perfect solution for you. So during the summer months or when you're just constantly running your air conditioner, um, this filter in this grate gets it gets a lot of buildup on it. I mean, there's four people plus a dog that's shedding. Um, a lot of stuff is just sucked up into that that air return. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off the grate, clean the air filter uh, just like normal. Use warm soapy water, clean it off, let it dry out, put it back. But I also need to take this uh, this uh, this faceplate off, take it down. We need to look up in there and see how the coils are doing because I think it's probably time to clean out the coils because I've done that um, never. I've never done that. So we're going to do that today and we're going to see how dirty it actually got. Now what's cool about this is once I've got this down, this is going to be a great opportunity to do some improvements to it. I found a great tutorial on YouTube and I'll link it here on how to not only make your AC more efficient, but also uh, possibly quiet it down a little bit. And we're going to put that to the test. This guy that did the, uh, the tutorial on this, he did a absolutely fantastic uh, detailed job and he showed everything on how he did it. So I'm not going to try and redo that. I'm just going to link you to the video. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put it to the test because I don't think he did a very good job of testing how efficient it got and how quiet it got. So we're going to, we're going to do all the improvements that he did. We're going to show you side by side comparisons and yeah, let's get to it. Um, I am, I am on the bed and this is the AC overneath our, uh, master bed. So it, Ideally, if it quiets it down, that's going to be a big improvement because if you've ever heard these air conditioners, you lit you can't have a normal conversation over them. You can't watch the TV over them. So let's get to it. Let's take this off. So I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but like that is that is dirty. I mean, we've got some like some staining up here from condensation that's been dripping, and what's been coming down with those drips, I don't know, but it's turning it brown. It's really gross. Okay, so for this project you will need um, coil cleaner, um, ideally one that is safe for your type of RV roof. Um, this is just a generic one, but I have a way to kind of trap the water um, or trap the runoff and rinse it out just with towels. I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, you will need AC duct repair tape. This is the foil uh, and paper backed uh, metal tape, not duct tape, duct tape. A uh, good sprayer bottle full of distilled water. Uh, a pair of scissors to cut this Reflectix. I have a bunch of leftover Reflectix from a, another project, so I'm going to be using all these scraps, uh, but you can buy it in the roll from Lowe's or Home Depot. You'll also need a drill or a screwdriver with a, it's typically a square bit. I didn't feel like I needed to tell you that though. Okay, so with the uh, the AC right here turned off, uh, as much ambient noise canceled as possible, uh, we are running at about between 40 and 42 decibels. So let's turn on the AC before we do anything to it and uh, and see what we're running at. So I don't know how much of that audio is coming through, but you can probably hear that the AC is on and the compressor has kicked on. Uh, to get a uniform reading, I'm just gonna touch the top of this phone to this uh, faceplate and take our reading. All right, so we're between 72 and 73 decibels. Let's see if we can improve that. All right. So in order to take this faceplate off, we're going to first remove the, the filter cover. So that's really dirty. We're going we're gonna to need to clean that. And then you're going to remove six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. These last two are covered with kind of decorative plugs. So if you have a, like a tiny flathead bit, you can pry those out. Just be gentle so you don't... Um, 
damage them like that. Don't don't do that. So that's the plug I'm talking about. We got to take that off to reveal the um, the square head screw that needs to come out. Just pop that out. All right. With the faceplate off now, um, you've got your AC dump side, so this is where the cold air should be coming out, um, and you've got your uh, retur air return on this side. So this is the divider, and you see, you can see where they've put up some, uh, some foam sheeting to kind of insulate uh, that barrier, but I'm putting my hand up here and I can still, I can feel some cold air coming out. Now the reason there's cold air coming out is not because this is on, but it's because our second AC unit is now on and it's ducted. So there's cold air coming through the system. And I like even, gosh, that's a lot of wasted cold air that's not getting pushed out through the vents. It's just being recycled um, and not being very efficient. So let's fix that. The reason that it's not that efficient is because while they do, while they did put up this this piece of uh, foam padding, um, just really a crap job of taping up the seams uh, where all this stuff is going to escape. Uh, like like that should have been taped up right there. Um, really, the whole thing should be coated in tape. And plus, you know, it could just be uh, the age of this. This is a s almost six year old rig, so it's just time to do some updates. You will also need a, most likely a 3 8 uh, drive socket. Because um, you'll be taking down this metal plate as well. So, this is extremely long. The reason it's long is because this, well, the four of these are what holds your rooftop AC down. <laughs> it, it's kind of a weird feeling taking these out, but it's going to be fine because it's pretty heavy and it sits on there. But uh, you got to make sure to put these back or you will lose an AC while you drive. When you've got the, the four bolts out, there's a little bit of tape or maybe some adhesive holding this up, but otherwise it should come right out. At that point, it's just the uh, the electrical wiring that's holding in place. Okay, so I just dis disconnected a couple things just so I could get that out of the way so that you could see. Uh, you may not have to take that entire thing off, but it wasn't a big deal. It was only two screws. So now we can clearly see all the way up into the uh, AC unit. If I were to take that shroud off on top of the roof, which we eventually will, you would just have a huge gaping hole. So before we head up on the roof to take off the uh, the top shroud and take a look at the the other side of the coils. We're gonna go ahead and clean this uh, this filter because it is nasty. Uh, nothing really too special about this, just warm, soapy water. Wring it out a couple times till, till the water comes out clear, and you're done. Yeah, you would not believe how dirty these things get, so it's best to do it like once a month. Uh, in reality, I get around to it like once every three months. But the more often you clean this, the less often you'll have to do all this maintenance and like clean off the coils. Okay, so the water's coming out clear now. So we just completely wring it out and we're gonna go hang it out to dry. That way when we're, uh, we're done up top on the roof, we can just put this back and it's nice and clean. Okay, I hope you can hear me. It's a little windy today, but to get this top shroud off, there's going to be usually four, this is a Dometic unit, a Dometic uh, 13,500 BTU unit. Uh, so there should be four screws holding this shroud in place. So just take those off. All right, so now that the shroud's off, 
we're going to expose the coils by taking off that styrofoam piece. So that's the rear coil. This is the front coil. Uh, to expose that, we need to take this styrofoam piece off. Once we take that off, you will see how it drops right into our RV. That's just held on there. There's nothing securing it. All right, so now you've got a giant hole in the roof of your RV. Congratulations. Okay, so now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take, put the camera up there and see how dirty these coils actually are. So some nice, nice grime. I was worried we were gonna have some mildew up here. Doesn't look like mildew or mold, but it's still pretty dirty. So let's clean that off now. Okay, so here's where the coil cleaner comes in. We're just gonna spray the coil cleaner on, but we don't wanna just like soak the bed down there uh, with stuff. So we're gonna shove a towel in this space uh, so that we can kind of gently rinse this off. And then if there's any coils that need to be straightened out, we can use a, um, a credit card kinda, or, a, or a plastic knife and kind of bend those back into place. So we are gently, gently gonna take this thermostat out Set that to the side, and we're going to put this towel in, being careful not to bend any of the uh, these AC coils. So you just want to thoroughly saturate all the coils in this foam. And then let it sit. While we're waiting for the coils to clean, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, like debris that's in here that needs to be cleaned out, so you can do that too. So you can see where it's starting to uh, break down some of that grime and carry it out with the foam. So it is working. Okay, remember where I said that if you have some uh, some bent coils like this, you can fix them. Well, <clears throat> just take take any um, any uh, credit card, plastic card type thing you have. And you can straighten those fins out. Um, the amount of coils that I have bent right now, I mean, is really insignificant, so I'm not even going to bother. But I just want to show you that it can be done, and you don't need to buy a special tool because honestly, a lot of the tools on Amazon got really poor ratings, so. Take a credit card. Do that. Okay, so it looks like most of the foam is gone. Um, so now they included this comb with the top of the cap. You can start kind of scraping away some of that grime. You just got to be really careful not to bend the coils. And actually, I'm going to assist this. That's where the spray bottle comes in. I'm going to assist this with the spray bottle. Just kind of uh, help clean it out. Oh yeah, there we go. Much better. You can see where some of that, uh, that grime is now draining off. Now, because I don't necessarily want that, it, it says it's safe for rubber products, but since I don't necessarily want that on my roof, I am going to um, just shove some towels in where it's draining off. There we go. That is a dramatic, dramatic difference, but I think uh, since it'll probably be another five or six years before I, you get me up here and doing this again I'm just gonna hit it again one more time with the coil cleaner I can really really get it clean. Okay, once those coils are cleaned We're kind of done up here on the roof. So just make sure you put back the uh, that thermostat wire by gently putting it back in through the coils and then uh, Put the cover back on put the screw the shroud back on put the screws back in and you're done up here Okay, so the AC coils have been cleaned, the AC uh, filter has been cleaned and is drying off, and the coils are drying off. So now's a good time to start working on this uh, opening and sealing it up, making the improvements to make the airflow smoother, 
and less turbulent. Um, that's kind of redundant. Smoother and less turbulent. Um, just We're just going to do a basic upgrade on it, and it's going to be dirt cheap, because all we're using is that tape and this Reflectix uh, foil. So it's going to be really cheap, really nice. So I'm not going to go super detailed with you, because uh, this other YouTube video did a great job of explaining in great detail exactly how he did it, and it's going to be much easier for me to just send you over to that video. But I will go over the basics. Um, essentially, he lined all the walls of this hole with Reflectix, just uh, cut to fit, and he did overlaps into this ductwork and sealed that up with duct tape. And But the big difference was that this, this sliding thing here, this, which normally slides, um, is called the AC dump. And for when you want cold air like blasting right on you, you can open that up. We never open that up. I actually don't know a lot of people who do open that up. And so what, what he did was he just backed this entire thing with Reflectix so that this becomes um, no longer an opening. And that way there's no more cold air recycling through. So as I'm peeling away some of this old aluminum tape from uh, around here, this is the ductwork, uh, you can probably see why uh, we're getting some inefficiency in the system. Uh, where I'm putting my finger is just roof space. It's it, essentially just the, the space between the, the ceiling and the roof. Um, and the only thing that was covering that was this aluminum tape. If you reach way back into your uh, uh, earth sciences classes, you'll remember that metal is conductive. So essentially we're just conducting uh, <laughs> lost energy through here instead of going through the ductwork. So what we're going to be doing is lining it with uh, this Reflectix material, which is insulative bubble wrap, essentially. And that way we're going to stop the uh, the loss through those seams. And some other glaring issues are just these, these gaps where we're going to be losing cold air. That's, instead of going down onto us in the living space, it's just going to be going through the roof. Okay. There is the finished product up top. I mean, that's pretty well sealed up. And then here is the finished product on the, um, the plenum, I guess it's called. Um, man, Elon Musk would be proud. This thing is ready for outer space. So now all that's left is to uh, put everything back into place and we can test the, uh, the decibels on this thing to see if it actually made it more quiet. Okay, so similar conditions as before. Resting room tone is 41 to 43-ish. We'll call it there. So now we're gonna turn on this AC and see how it's going. We're like right at 69 to 70 decibels. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage and see what the original reading was, but I'm pretty sure that's a drop of like three to four decibels, which is actually pretty significant. Okay, so here is the real test. Christian has been gone uh, with the kids today while I've been working on this. So Chris, hit it. What button do I hit? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just turn it on. Okay. I know, it's significant, right? it's like significantly more quiet. Oh. We can actually talk. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Babe. Now open that vent and feel how much air is coming out. You did that, babe. I did it. I did that. Oh, this is, it's flat. Look, you, my hair moves. Oh my God, I could dry my hair here if I ever need It's just to. like, it's like rippling her What's cheeks. <laughs> This is epic. Yeah, this oh is like a significant. I should just do this for a living. I should just <laughs> make people's AC you more quiet. You should not, honey. You should just keep doing that. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, well, this AC is running and I'm able to record. This is incredible. <laughs> that like That's something that's constantly been bugging us, Like especially when we're filming. We have to turn off all the ACs and it just gets really hot in here. Um, this is amazing. 
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, I know <clears throat> the tutorial that, that, that I watched on this, I found it very useful. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or share it or maybe even subscribe to our channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we upload our videos every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, our next video that's coming up is going to be, uh, that's going to be a fun one. So we're doing a uh, roll reversal. So I will be uh, breaking down the RV on the inside and Christian will be oh, doing do all the that? outside stuff and driving us, hooking up the RV, driving us to our next spot and parking all by herself. Should be a fun one. Um, and you can catch that next Sunday. I, I, am, I am a little nervous. I've never hooked up the truck before, so. Don't be nervous. Or backed in or driven or any of that really.